I am utilizing the Bid Integrations plugin to establish a connection between these two platforms. Let's go to Bid Integration Dashboard. Now click Create Integration. Now search and select Trigger which is Bricks. To successfully integrate with Bricks, select Custom from the Forms action setting. Now navigate Bricks Page Builder, where use the form. Now select the form, click Action from the left sidebar, then select the Custom from drop-down. Click the Save icon to save the setting. Now navigate Integration Page, select a form. Click Next. Search and select an action. Custom API. Choose your desired auth protocol. There are three types of authentication protocols available for the custom API. Today, I will demonstrate using an API key with the custom API. Since I used an authentication protocol API key, I will provide it in bit form, and you can use your preferred platform. For the key and value, I will go to the bit form documentation. Here is the key under the name. Copy it and paste it on the integration site. For the value go to the bit form app settings. Under the app settings navigate to API. Copy the API key and paste it into the integration site. For add to go to the bit form documentation. Under the in here is the add to type header. So go back to the integration site and choose add to type header. Next. Choose method post. Give here an API endpoint. For the API endpoint again go to the bit form documentation. And under the get request copy the URL and paste it on the integration site. Now replace here the form ID. Let's navigate to the bit form dashboard. Here, you can see that my form ID is 1. So go back to your integration site then type 1. Give the base URL by going to the bit form API settings, copying the domain URL, and pasting it on the integration site to replace the base URL. Body. Send all data. Please remember to select the specific payload type that I have chosen. Now change the key name of the bit form. So copy the bit form field key and paste it on the integration site. Here are some advanced features in conditional logic you can use for your requirement. Next. Finish and save it. Now go to your form and type some information and submit the form. The form is successfully submitted. Now go to your bit form dashboard. Under the actions click on three dots and go to the responses. Here you can see that the data came successfully into the bit form. Thanks for watching.